Morning guys, welcome to another episode of Coffee with Buckskin Dave. So, I got these bluebirds living here, and it's kind of interesting. They come back every year, and they nest. Well, first couple of years they were here, they nested in my camper, in uh, where the wires and stuff go in, you know, the plug-in wires. So, it was no big deal. They actually went to a convention <laughs> up in Coeur d'Alene, up in Rathdrum, in the back of that truck. I saw them flying around the trailer up there, and I came back, and they were here, and they had their babies. This year, I've moved that and kind of made that not available, so they're working on my tractor. And they're starting to build a nest up in the motor department. <clears throat> and they come back every year, so I'm going to build them a permanent home. I got like a ton of these um, pallets here and some wood. We're going to make a permanent home for these guys. Screw it to a fence post. I might even make some other condominiums for their neighbors and friends and family. I, I like them. They're kind of cool birds. I just, I hate for them to be on my motor over here because I'm going to start using this tractor pretty soon. So, anyway, stick around and we'll build this nest together and we'll see how they take it. I'm going to make a real simple birdhouse. Yeah. To start with. Okay, let's cut these two pieces and see where they go. It's going to be kind of a make it as you go kind of birdhouse. So, the thing about to make it as you go, you decide you need two of them, you already got a model. there. They were so old they'd crack. And uh, I wasn't making it, so anyway. going to be a big enough, big enough hole for that little guy. Yeah. Not sure. So, I suppose that'll work. I don't like the, I think the hole in the, should be smaller. But I'm gonna have it close over here, so I'll be able to keep an eye on magpies. Magpies might go in there. I think the idea of making it smaller, the bird feels more comfortable and nothing else can get in there. So, I'm gonna set it up on one of these posts right over here. Just have to be careful when I'm shooting, but I, 
You know, I've been shooting over the tractor and it hadn't seemed to bother him, so. Territorial. I'm gonna go ahead and stick just this put baby that up. up there. I mean, just put that up there. And they're already checking it out. Cool. I guess maybe it's gonna work. <laughs> I don't think they mind the bigger hole. So, that's perfect. So what do you think, honey? Oh, I don't know. I like the rustic look. <laughs> God dang. Maybe that's what they were just sitting here running around going, Hey, you going to make me a house or what? Well, that's good. I, I hope that's where they end up. And they'll be just fine there. They're not afraid of us. I mean, I've sat here looking out and had them land on me. I mean, they're not afraid of us at all. So, it doesn't have to be way up the pole. I, uh... I started out today spraying weeds and weed eating and then those birds started bothering me because they were going in, they were going to make a nest in that tractor and uh, geez, it didn't take me very long to slam that together on the tailgate and then it almost rained on me and I got it up and them birds are in it already. I, perfect. I love it. So anyway, thanks for stopping in, sharing a cup of coffee with me and building a birdhouse. Um, stick with the channel. I'll see you next time. We'll try to do something a little more interesting, but I thought that birdhouse was pretty cool. Thanks for stopping in. Bye-bye.